just had to drag this trailer out of the road here. But either way, we're going fishing and the driver's okay. Get it. He was a drag peeler. He was a drag peeler. Oh, oh, drag. Okay, all right. We got us a fish here. We're gonna need a net. We're gonna need a net. Yeah, look at it. Right there on the fish finder, you can see it. Oh, yeah, look. Came off the bottom. <laughs> Back up. Kind of uh. pulling it up too. Well, uh, good afternoon, y'all. Casey and I are going fishing here today. You probably saw him sometime last year, and we just had to drag this trailer out of the road here. But either way, we're going fishing, and the driver's okay. He a little banged up, but uh, it'll be all right. All right, guys, we have made it down here to Chickamauga Lake. We're near the nuke plant. We're going to be doing some bumping, dragging, anchoring. We don't really know yet, but we're going to try to catch a big old catfish. We had a real good day yesterday. If you watch the video with uh, my friends Daniel and Claudia, we caught a whole lot of big catfish, but no big giant ones, 60, 70 pounders, which is what Casey and I are going to go for today. Now, Casey and I have been friends for years, probably close to a decade. And uh, he's now a guide here on the lakes in the area, and uh, I'll let him introduce himself real quick. Hey everyone, Casey Tack with Mad Catter's Guide Service. I operate typically here on Watts Bar, sometimes Loud and sometimes the Chink. This is my boat. We got a nice 26 foot Easy Cat out here. It's a little dirty, sorry, but we yeah. actually fish. I'll, I'll take care of that at some point in time, <laughs> but for now it's just me, and I don't mind it being dirty. It shows that I actually use it, unlike a lot of people. So we're gonna get out here and hopefully cook catch some some really nice fish off of this this uh, discharge down here on the nuke plant get some of those hot those fish to play around the hot water uh, casey uh is a um, licensed captain with the coast guard uh fully insured legit guide he's also a military veteran and if you're looking for uh, a person to go take a trip on who's going to take care of you and your family out on the water that's the guy right there you guys ask me for guide trips all the time i don't do that but he does so uh, i'll link his business in the description below and uh, we're going to get on the water and put this uh, big old vessel to use <laughs> this baby nice i don't know what to do with myself we got seats in this boat that debt finder's bigger than my tv What is this, a 350? It's 300. 300. Look at that. How fast does this thing go? Um, right now, I just swapped out the aluminum props. So I'm doing about 48. In a 26 foot boat. That's just scooting. I don't even think the drone could keep up with it. We'll find out. Catfish battleship. that also auto deploys. She goes, we'll lower straight down. You know, normally I would just be in the boat, but we're just doing this for effect. We found some bait. <laughs> we've got to go catch bait but i think we've found some more we've got a crappie who's definitely keeper size oh come on get on over here Nothing that's like nature and it's finest <laughs> nature giveth <laughs> looks like a osprey got it yeah he did an osprey they got, got chunk it. and then dropped it <laughs> we're gonna catch a hundred pound catfish on that right there Bait! <laughs> the whole thing! <laughs> 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 we 
We have a windshield, guys. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, we got a Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're riding style, baby. Shooting through this narrow little pass right here between these buoys. This big boat about fits right through the center of them. <laughs> Pretty much. It's like three pig sleds in one. On this episode of Driving Miss Daisy, we go catfishing. Apparently I'm Miss Daisy today, which I'm okay with. Of the rods, big cat fever on the right, mad cats on the left. What gets bit? Both, <laughs> yeah, amazing rods, both have an amazing following. But which one's gonna catch the most fish today? I think Casey set the left side up to be the best part of the boat. This is a rigged system, it is, it's totally rigged, but you know, it is my boat. So yep. <laughs> Look, I have so many routes for activities back here. <laughs> you can walk around and the boat doesn't about tip over. Yeah, it's amazing. So we're, oh, well, I'm obviously eating some beef jerky, but we're sitting right in the nuke plant discharge, right in the warm water. Like the boat should be facing that way, <laughs> but instead it's facing this way because there's a discharge pipe right there shooting out like six degree warmer water. Yep. So it's not crazy warmer, but it is warmer. The slight difference is enough that it'll make the fish want to come to it. And we're just anchoring up right now. Whoop! and they sink very quickly we got some gizzard shad back in that cove we got the crappie we found at the boat launch that got attacked by the osprey and here's Giga shad. <laughs> like a Giga skip. almost a four pound skipjack <laughs> <laughs> this is what that knife <laughs> it needs to be washed a little i could clip my weights up i guess Oh yeah, look, he's even got a knife sharpener. It's real rusty, but you know, it works. I'm high tech. High class. Double hook rig, baby. This is a heavy model, big cat fever. That's a pin fathom with some random braid I found at the beach. And these are two medium Hellcats here. We got a couple double rigs on these and these are just single hook rigs. Casey's gonna try all different kinds of bait. I'm just throwing out skipjack. What brand rod holders are these? These are Smackdown Rod Holders. I've kind of owned a whole bunch of different ones over the years. Monster Rod Holders and Fish Bites. And... These ones just happen to come in the right color and I love the quality of them. They're half inch. I mean, you can literally like anchor up the boat with them and not have any. Plus, 
I like the company, I like the people, and I like what they stand for. I like Stacy and the fact that he's a very Christian man, speaks the word on a regular basis. Casey's throwing a whole shad out. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see how these baits sit in the water, how cockeyed we are. Swing down. I want this one to stay right there. Just kind of right off the ledge, right out of the pipe. I don't like to go very far, but... We'll see what happens. Are you running braid or mono? I am running 50 pound mono. Mono gang. So, I run the Berkeley Extreme, I believe is what it is. 50 pound. But my leaders are... Um, what the crap? Your rods. Big cat here. Yeah. 80 pounds. Drawing a blank here. Words. Okay. And the white bass. White bass. Slight fillet, action. A little bit of blood. Move this net out of your way. Right where it is. Right okay, there. I put it right there on the center one with this with the main post that it has the most stability. Yeah. Quite the best. But don't catch me a blue herring too. <laughs> I'm gonna cut me a Little skipper fillet here. There's one. And we're gonna take this guy. Big chunk. And that. Okay. A little smaller chunk for that one. All different sizes. Quappy. How big is? I have a eagle, 12 and a half inch. Crappy. Crappy. Hook our skipjack up. Like that. I'll take this hook. Just go lob them back right there. I'm running 10 ounces of weight. Casey, how much did you put on? I'm only throwing. He's got eight, and he's got the pencil type ones. Dunk. Yeah. 43 back in the cove. 50 here. Pick up. No, it's not that sock even when I load up. Huh. Push that out. 
Well, if you live in I need to be over by another five feet or so. Oh, you gotta cheat and do four rods? Absolutely. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm stacking the odds. <laughs> I mean, I guess you got to. You got to beat that <laughs> I like the green. I like the hubcats. They're kind of cool looking. How does it match my boat? Thinking they're gonna want this giant head. I'm gonna say crappie. Which one's crappie? That one. Swanging all over the place. Go down. Come on. He's swimming off to the right with it. Let's pick it up. Yeah, he's going to the right with it. Put it down. I think. Yep, he put it down. He ate it and swam that way. Alright guys, we have come up to this creek here where it dumps in the mouth. You can see where this creek dumps into the main channel here. And we spot lock with the trawl motor and we've got two drift socks off the back here. And that current keeps the back end of the boat pushed back without having to use a second anchor. And we have got all our baits spread across this creek channel mouth. Big baits, small baits, gizzard shad, a little bit of everything, white bass. And we're just going to sit here as the sun goes down see if we can catch a toad. Bernie, pull it. I don't know. Pulled it. Pulled it. Yeah, this is a pretty big piece of paper. <laughs> That's why we didn't catch anything. Yeah, sometimes it happens. A sunset dink. And the purge ringtone <laughs> by Casey.
Sunset Dinky. That was a peeler. I didn't get that on camera, but we're hooked up. <laughs> I wonder, was your GoPro going? Yeah, it's going. Okay, we can pull it from that later. Yeah. Peeled some drag. Right See, he's got the, the odd stack to his favor. He's casting off left into the channel here, and he's got me up here in this shallow water. Is that, it? Is that what it is? I thought it was just the mad cat rods, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, catfish are specific on what rods they bite. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He was a drag peeler. He was a drag oh. peeler. Oh, oh. Still pulling. <laughs> drag. Okay. All right. We got us a fish here. We're going to need the net. We're going to need the net. Yeah, look at it. Right there on the fish finder, you can see it. Oh, yeah, look. Came off the bottom. <laughs> Back up. Kind of uh. pulling it up to me. And I had like two big bursts of energy and then come right up to the top. There you go, big old blue one. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. What we got here? Good old blue. That's not one. You done your Good blue. Good blue. Net him. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Okay. Yes, sir. Got him. There we go. Big old fatty. That's a good one. That's a good one. You probably, that's probably the one I was pulling the drag, like pulling the bait two or three other times. Look at that. Good fish. We've been fighting commercial fishing nets out here all day. We've had to run across the whole lake to find the area we could fish. Lost some lures. Oh, come on. Good fish, Casey. Good fish. Ow! Even with the glove, that hurt. He's <laughs> <Keep> burping. <laughs> Sounds like me after eating Mexican food. <laughs> Man, this hook don't want to come up. Gamagachus. Gamagacha. Now these are um actually these are Daichis. Daichis. D eighty fives, I believe. D eighty seven, one on two. Ah. That thing's nice. in there. Spin that a little bit. Huh? Spin it close. Take a look at that fish. There we go. Take a look at that. Yeah, Another baby. Time blue. Took us a little while, but we got it. Getting it done. Getting. Going here on the GoPro. There you go, y'all. Big old fatty. And release them like we do. Oh, <laughs> don't go in that 43 <laughs> degree water. Yeah, second time today. Turn them back down. There we go. There it goes. That's how you do it. All righty. Let's get another one. Get it. Ah. Hey, it's that same head. Oh, I came undone. What? Oh. <laughs> Dang it! I think I was peeling, dragging everything. Dang it! Dang it, Bobby! Well, that's going to do it for that episode, y'all. I'm going to be honest, it was really hard to find somewhere to fish on the section of the lake we were on because there was a commercial fishing outfit out there uh, fishing for paddlefish. 
and basically every ledge we wanted to fish would have a net on it or like near it so we couldn't drag it or really anchor on it we even snagged up on one and had to untangle all of our lines one time we just didn't put it in the video because it took like an hour to get everything undone but uh either way it was a super fun evening out on the water you guys have asked me tons and tons of times for guide trips i don't do that my boat's just too small to do it right now and i don't have my captain's license to do it but casey's one of my really good friends in the area he's fully licensed insured has got a great boat to do it and he's great at what he does and loves it and loves taking Get people out to fish and have a good time so if you're looking to take your family members out to learn about fishing or you want to go yourself or you've got some business trips or something like that you just want to hire a guide for in the knoxville area for catfish casey's your man and um, we're going to leave his contact information in the description below he has got a uh, facebook page called mad catters guide service and instagram so you can go in there and check out all of his prices and stuff like that and all the pictures of his clients that he's had from the last year or so and uh we really hope you enjoyed this little short trip with us as always hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you on this next episode of top Knox fishing and just wait i'm about to go down to florida for a week for a week and a half week week and a half something like that of offshore fishing and guess what i'm going to catch on a big cat fever rod a goliath grouper so we're going after it